Hey guys, my name is Flower Friendly. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about what it was like living out of an ambulance for a couple years. I was a bartender for Ballast Point Brewery. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with myself and I was definitely thinking about living out of a van for a while and then I wanted to try to bring as many people as I could with me as possible and I thought about, hey, why not an ambulance? could fit as a lot of people in there. I have this dream where I can travel, stream, vlog, meet other people that are like-minded, and get to see as much as I possibly can along the way. When I decided to buy an ambulance, within two months I sold my car and I bought it. Before the sun could come up, the ceiling was already painted and it was pretty much done. I bought the ambulance from this really cool couple, Amy and Topher. They're still friends of mine today and we have gone camping since then. I think me and Amy actually went in the ambulance before in camp. We still stay in contact. If you guys have any questions, also feel free to comment below and I will be able to answer them in a later video. So now I'm gonna answer some questions that I've been receiving from Instagram. Here we go. Are there any legal problems you've encountered? Legally, you can't actually park the ambulance in the city because there are length restrictions. You cannot have a red stripe around your vehicle in certain states, so that also is kind of a problem. You're allowed to own an ambulance uh, if it does not have any markings that make it resemble um, an active ambulance, then it's fine. What does the inside look like? So the ambulance had lights, it had paint everywhere, the ceiling was completely covered um, in a mural of the galaxy and different spirals and vortexes. The floor had sunflowers and a lot of blue. On the outside it was completely white and it had the red stripe around it. it looked like a plain old ambulance. What is the coolest feature about the ambulance? Free parking at hospitals perhaps? Parking was probably the hardest thing to actually do. I couldn't find it in a lot of places because there's a lot of restrictions for that, especially in the city. Um, the coolest feature about the ambulance, I think, would probably be the fact that you can pile so many people in the back, uh, go out to the beach, and everyone will have a spot to sleep. I think the most we've ever had in a vehicle at one time was probably about 10 or 12 people. It was a lot. We shoved everyone in the ambulance and we went out to Ocean Beach and it looked like a clown car. There was just person after person after person after person after person just coming out of the ambulance and then people like would pass by to be like there's a hammock in here what's going on there's two hammocks in here I'm staying have people mistaken you for a real ambulance and pulled out of your way yeah actually people are very kind to ambulance drivers and this is why having an ambulance is so nice because you'll be driving and out of nowhere if people are in your way they're not. They move out of your way. You get like little waves every now and again and then some people really don't like ambulances. Do the flashing lights and sirens work? If so, have you tempted to pretend to be an ambulance? I have never once pretended to be an ambulance. I've been tempted. Definitely. Have I done it though? No. But I really want I plan on living in a van in a couple years. Was it expensive to keep traveling? I haven't really traveled anywhere. I've been in California most of the time. Um, I did go to New Mexico, Texas this year. Other than gas, it was relatively cheap. What were the pros and cons? Pros. You can take your house with you anywhere you want. I left my jacket at home. Be like, oh, I'll go to the street real quick and grab my everything. And cons? It got really cold. I would light candles, put them in a circle, like five of them, let that heat up an area, and you'd be surprised with how much uh, just a simple candle can heat up your tiny little space that you need. I'm storing food sometimes, because when I first got in the ambulance, I didn't have any type of refrigeration or anything, so a lot of my food was going bad, and I always had to like try to make makeshift like little coolers and stuff, so I would recommend thinking about that before getting uh, into a vehicle permanently with a lot of food. What kind of feeling did the van have before it was yours? When I first got it, it was pretty empty. It was very stripped out. I had like a futon bed in there. I think I just took everything out within the first couple hours and had it painted halfway done. 
and I started building. From someone who's going to be joining the camper van life soon, what did you dislike? Oh, make sure you get a vehicle with AC. That's something I disliked about the ambulance. It had no AC, and I live in the desert, so it got really hot. Bathrooms. So you kind of can get bathrooms wherever you kind of are. Gym membership somewhere, that always helps for like bathroom showers, anything like that, especially if there's a multiple chain. Denny's, it's always open. I lived at a skydive drop zone for a while. I was able to use the bathrooms there and the showers, so it was really easy and not really accessible to do all the things I needed to do. Why an ambulance? Of all things, is it cheaper than an RV? Wouldn't an RV be more affordi uh, affordable, comfortable for all of you? Do you plan on traveling cross country in it? So I wanted to get an ambulance because not only can you get it like a diesel ambulance and it'd be great on gas, it's not as heavy as an RV and you don't have to always buy hookups. It's easier to park places, uh, fit everyone inside, be able to use the flat roof for extra sleeping arrangements. It's very comfortable, very, very comfortable. They cost thousands of dollars cheaper than an RV, 2,500 to 125,000. So you have like a huge range of like what you can look for. They last a really long time. And yes, I do plan on traveling cross country. Hopefully I can bring some people with me. <laughs> okay guys, well that's all I have for today. If you liked this video and you guys want to have any more questions, you're going to have to find me again. So please subscribe and like. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.